But all my day-to-day -day people got my peoples with me, huh? Got my peoples with me. So when I do these videos, I do them for free. If I'm going to continue to walk and talk the life of Jesus Christ and live through Jesus Christ to get to the most high, when I'm talking about our Savior, I don't want no money from that. This is free. Okay, this is free. I don't want to get paid for this. Now, anybody who has a ministry and taking money, I believe it should be spread out accordingly throughout the people who you are ministering to. Hmm? We're talking about snacks. If you're inside of a building, make sure you pay light bills, things like that. Now, keep in mind, I did a video about church, and I'm still standing on that. So now, if the ministry has carried over into your home and you are to take money, be sure you provide those who you are ministering to. Don't do it for selfish game. Look around. There ain't no church open now because of that. Hmm? Judas was over the ministry, the money. And look what Judas did. Why you think there's so many scriptures in that book that talks about money? It changes you. Now, if you have a deep-rooted faith, you should be wise. You should have great judgment when it comes to money thing I'm going to talk about today, and this is going to step on a lot of people's toes. Oh, well. The thing I would like to talk about today is what's going on. What's going on in this world? Uh, we just have to stay we just have to stay resilient. Okay? You get knocked down, you got to keep getting up. You got to keep getting up. You have to keep getting up. The one thing that I really want to put emphasis on is the the ministry okay if you have a ministry treat the people who you are ministering to with right judgment you are not to be selfish so if you was a pastor out there and you had your church and collected a few of them dollars for yourself look what happened to you look what happened to you and I bet you tried to cross over on here and get paid on YouTube. Now, did you? I told you this going to step on some toes, man. Um, it's really going to step on some toes. And me, honestly, I don't even care. The reason why I don't care because I'm here to expose the wicked, man. Huh? I'm here to expose the wicked. Think of all them Pharisees back then that had the, the, the nice little cloaks on, the nice robes. They standing in front of the building. They had to be seen. They had to be seen. So whenever you saw them, you're like, oh, yeah, that's godly men right there. Y'all doing the same thing today, huh? With your suits on and, and you got your car parked a certain way and you got your tires aligned to a certain way so when the sun hits them, your rims shine and people see when they come in the building. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You was the one that pocketed that money. Now look at you. Coronavirus hit and, and you sitting there about to go crazy. Why? You don't have no money. If you are rich in life, the kingdom of heaven is not for you. If you are rich spiritually, the kingdom of heaven is for you. And I spoke about the poor. The poor has mercy in the eyes of our Lord. That's why we should help them out. And I keep putting emphasis on that. I did make a mistake. I did make a mistake. And I corrected my mistake. And I'm going to talk about the correction of my mistake. When you do things in that nature, you're supposed to do it secretly. That's between you, that person, and the most high. So, like I said, this is not about judging. I'm not the one to judge. I'm not the one to condemn. That is not a drink that I drink. That, that, that's not in my cup. What's in my cup is exposing the wicked and promoting the truth. That, that's my cup. Now, you have a cup, too. We all have a cup. And you know what? The more that you are spiritually sounded, the more that you wake up and days go by and you continue to feel this spirit that lets you know that your cup has overflowed. It's overflowed. Now, I was talking about Brother uh, Dante. Uh, we was talking about Little Red Riding Hood. You remember the old fairy tale, right? 
you had the the wolf who had to kind of put on a mask to disguise himself from being a wolf separation of wolf and sheep as i have said before the wolf has the mask on now the sheep don't you think i'm worried about a mask you think i'm worried about this virus absolutely not yes i'm taking my precautions i'm being intelligent with how i move through this world how i move in and out of different the stores that i go into also interacting with different people but I'm not wearing no mask. I'm not wearing no mask. So, let's talk about one thing in particular. Skynet. You remember Terminator movies? Skynet, right? Skynet. Internet. There will be a day when the net will go offline. So anything that you have, make sure you save it on flash drives. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me about this. Save it on flash drives. Save all of your information. All of it on different flash drives. So when they do go offline and videos that you watched, um, according to, you know, different people who are speaking the truth, make sure you have all their stuff on file. So when it goes offline and we no longer can go on here and look at each other anymore, then you have backup and you'll always have that spiritual assurance from what you have learned to the point when it goes offline. I hope that it makes a lot of sense, but you got to look at common sense. Online, right now I'm online. When I leave, I go offline. There will be a day when I will not be able to hop back online. Much love. Peace.